Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the mail app, um, how to reply, reply all, forward, carbon copy, blind carbon copy, and print an email. Okay, the first thing we're going to show you is how to reply to an email. So I'm going to tap on the email that I want, and um, here's over here, it's showing the email. And then I go up here, this little arrow means that you're going to do something with this email. Mm -hmm. So if I tap on the arrow, you can see I can reply, reply all, forward, or print. Now this reply all will only show up if this email is to more than one person. Okay. So if I had an email that was just to one person, it would just say reply and then jump right to forward. So that's good to know. Okay. So um, reply or reply all work the same. I'm going to tap on reply all. All right, then it brings this up. And you can see that it's going to, it didn't reply all. <laughs> well, it did, but it came from the same account that you had copied it on, and that's why. Oh, okay. So it's All like, right. well, I don't need to give her two copies. You're right, it. you're right. We were just doing a test email. We're just doing so. a test email. Okay, so it would have all the people that had been sent that email right. would be listed. Right, right. So you can see that it brought up the email. If I scroll down, there's the original email. Yeah, and it puts that line, and it kind of changes oh, right. the color to show, and it says who sent it and mm -hmm. the time and everything. Right. And you can see the cursor was blinking, and the keyboard was up, which means I could type something in here. But before I do that, I want to show you up here. Um, this is where you copy, blind copy. Uh, if I tap on it, it will expand. And copy would be you would copy someone else. Right. And, the, and everybody would see that. Right. Like a lot of times, maybe in a work setting, you're, you would always copy the project manager. Right. So they would know what was going on. Right. The blind copy is kind of sneaky mm -hmm. <laughs> because um, you're copying someone, but it's blind, meaning the other people that you have sent it to cannot see that right. you've copied that person. I think it's kind of a rude thing to do. It is kind of rude, but there <laughs> should be, there must be an application. For yeah, it, so. I'm thinking maybe in some type of work environment. Yeah. Right, where you, someone needs to know what's going on without other people knowing that right. they know. Right. But it's work. not very socially acceptable to do because someone might email something back and say something about that person. Right, so be careful when you use right. it. Right. Um, so if I want to copy someone, I would just type in their email address there. Okay, and then I would um, type the email. Um, look at this email, whatever. You yep. would say. Yeah. All right. And then I'm just going to send it. Boom. And it's going to send off to everyone. And there it goes. Yeah. So the other thing that this arrow did, if I tap it up again, is printing. Yeah. And so to print, um, you just come down, you've got the email up, and you hit print, and it's going to come up, and it's going to look out at your Wi Fi network and see any Wi Fi printers. Um, most printers today, most printers that were made in the last three, four years are Wi-Fi compatible. So you just have to set your printer up so that it's also on your Wi-Fi network. And then your iPad or iPhone will see that. And you can um, pick the printer. This brought up my PhotoSmart printer. If I had more than one, I could tap on that and then pick the one I want out of the list. Right. Okay. Right. Or if you're at somebody's house and you're going to use theirs, you've never used it before, you probably have to come in here and tap on it. Um, you can't do a whole lot in here like you can on the computer. You can say how many copies you want, and then you can tell it if your printer allows you to do double-sided, you can tell it you want to do double-sided or not. That's it. I'm going to go back to one. I'm not going to do it double-sided. I'm going to hit print, and then off it goes to print. Okay. And uh, pretty soon we'll pretty. hear my printer makes noise. Yeah. It's pretty simple, <laughs> yep. pretty straightforward. Um, kind of <clears throat> wish they'd expand upon that. I can't get to all the functionality in my printer through there, but right. um, you know, pick quality and all that kind of stuff. But that's okay. Um, it's 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 useful to be able to print from your iPad. Sure well, and some people don't have a computer, so it's very useful. Exactly. <laughs> yep. But yep. Um, we all. I also needed to show you um, how to forward. I showed you how to reply and oh, reply right. all. Oh, right. you can oh, see here it comes. sending to the printer. There it goes. Yeah. Off it goes. So if I tap on this arrow again, which means I'm going to do something with the email, and it comes up. There's forward. 
Now forward, if I tap on that, it's going to take that email and it's not going to reply and include the um, email addresses that were in that original email. It's going right. to have a blank field. And this is useful if you want to um, send an email to someone else who wasn't originally sent that email. Right. Like I might receive um, some email about a project my son is working on at school and they send it just to me and I want to send it to my husband so he knows about it. Right. So it's going to come up blank and then you would just type in um, the email that you want to send it to. Right. So we'll just type in, we'll send it to Mohsen. Yeah. And then we just hit send. Right. You Ooh. could type something in that email. Yeah, you could. You could type something else in there and off it goes. So that was our tech bit on reply and forwarding and copying and printing. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.